what's going on guys how's everybody doing today i'm doing well thank you for asking michael the body beat down here uh today is thursday if you follow my channel which i'm sure the millions of people out there do you know today is shoulder day well today we're going to do something a little different as you can tell uh, these are something that i don't do very often at all <clears throat> we're going to be doing some standing rack presses if you follow my channel, again, and I'm sure you do, you know that I like to do sitting shoulder presses. Uh, it's just easier on the body. You're not sitting here slinging around and bending your back and, and all that kind of stuff. And I have a bad habit of doing that anyway. So uh, uh, these are not normal for me to do. <clears throat> uh, I also used to do a lot of uh, from the floor and up over the head presses. I don't do those as much anymore because I'm up in the weights, uh, up in the poundages where it's just not safe or hardly even doable to do anymore. So I'm not a superhuman, guys. I just play one on the videos here. <laughs> anyway, we got the bar, which is 45. We got tens on each side. So that brings the weight up to about 4,987 pounds or about 65 pounds. So we're gonna start out with this. We're gonna do a couple of warm-up sets. Uh, again, like I tried to tell you, uh, we're gonna go ahead and video a warm-up set because they're just as important as your uh, heaviest, most amazing sets. It shows how we all approach the weights and how we warm up and how we start things off. And, and you, you see that we don't just jump in there and just start lifting heavy weights. So. And I got to get used to this because I'm not used to doing it. So uh, it's good to do. So let's do some warm up, guys. <clears throat> you grab wherever you want on the bar. I kind of do where I feel comfortable. And I can tell you it's going to hurt. <clears throat> All right, I'm probably gonna do another set of these, and then I'm gonna do a couple more little lighter sets to get my shoulder and all this warmed up because it definitely hurts. So uh, we'll get back with you in a minute. Everybody hang in there, do your own thing, work out, do Pilates, yoga, run on the treadmill, use the elliptical, the bike, uh, sit-ups, push-ups, whatever it is that you're doing, guys, housework, drawing, doing photography, knitting, crocheting, stamp collecting, playing a video game, planting a garden, painting a room, doing dishes, doing lunch, whatever it is you're doing, guys, keep doing it. Uh, let us go in the background, let us influence you and help to inspire you to do better with the things that you're doing. Stick around. All right, we got 95. You're gonna notice I, I'm using my spotter arms now. Uh, I've gotten to where I do that. Whenever I do shoulder presses, I just kind of forgot. But we're using the spotter arms and I wrap some shoestrings around each side to kind of give the bar a place to stop because it likes to roll. These are not the most amazing spotter arms. Uh, I need to get some new ones either bought or made. Uh, I don't know how I trust these at all, but I do sort of. So 95, still warming up. We got 
and 135. We got 155. I got 185. Of course, the reps are going to start coming down. I don't want my form to suffer. So, so uh, we're going to have to come down with the reps. All right, we're at 205. We got a 10. We got a 25 and we got a 45 and the bar is 45. All right, we're at 225, got two 45s and the bar 45. See, we're down to 155. Got a 10, 45, 45. Forty-five, forty-five. 
All right, guys, and to finish off the workout today, we're going to stick with 135. If I go any lower, it's just a little bit too low. So we're going to stick with 135 for the final set. Just like that, we're done with our workout. All I did today were the standing rack presses. Didn't do any side lateral raises, didn't do any shrugs or anything. I just kind of wanted to focus on doing those and put my energy into that. Uh, not only that, but I ran out of room on my page and I don't want to have to flip the page and, you know, continue the day. So we don't want to do all that. We want to keep it organized and straight there. So uh, you'll notice that I did struggle Definitely struggled. I did finally get a, a one rep of the 225, which is kind of, you know, it's crazy because I've, on my sitting shoulder press, I'm at 270, I believe. And uh, I get it. I got it way easier than I got the 225 standing. However, I've often said as well as people know, if they've done it, standing is a little bit more difficult. You got your whole body to deal with and trying to keep that weight above you and uh, you're holding yourself up and you know, uh, you can feel the pressure and uh, your muscles tightening up from your toes all the way to your head. <laughs> so uh, I could feel my legs like I was getting a leg workout. They were so tightened up and going, so fired up. Anyway, it's good to uh, change things up just once in a while, just to kind of, you know, train your body into doing the same movement, but a little different. So uh, I'm glad I did that. Um, you know, hey, sure, I'd like to hit 270 on that, but I'm not really concerned. That's a lot of weight on me, having my shoulders and my back and all that kind of crap, so that I got problems with. I'm good. I'm really happy with my presses and how I'm doing, so I'm all good with that. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host, and uh, I hope you... Appreciate the struggle that I went through, and I hope that you got through whatever you were doing, and I hope I inspired you in some way. And let me know in the comments if you would, and uh, that'd be awesome. Let's build an awesome community, guys. Time to go eat. I'm ready to eat. Get up, get out, get red, do it, do it. And we'll see you next time on The Body Beat Down, where we challenge ourselves yet again. See y'all later. Bye. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!